muckers. Right, so here's the thing. Watch this video throughout because you'll miss spits otherwise. And we've got some great news for the channel coming up later on in the video. And a great opportunity for you to basically walk away with something quite special. Now this week saw snow across various parts of the country and uh, it wasn't any great amount but it did cause chaos because the wind got up and dumped it all in the lanes and the roads and whatever and just caused you know said a bit of uh, mayhem here there and everywhere and that said it also created the ideal opportunity to have a bit of fun so um roll the titles <laughs> feel this vehicle is safe for highway travel yes i do yes i really do i i, I believe that i know it's not pretty to look at but it'll get you where you want to go how dare you That water just gonna hold her wide. It's gonna be a good day. As you can see, that was getting fairly deep. Um, no snow's been drifted hard, and uh, old Major was trying her best, but there comes a point when you know enough's enough, and uh, that point came. <laughs> when all the uh, front axle and sump and everything started to dive in and you can see here and you can see how sort of knee deep <laughs> how deep it is but yeah that's when you yeah that's kind of enough there when everything starts to drag but uh that old girl did all right so it is actually nice being out on what is glorious winter's day and you know we ain't had a lot of snow for a good few years now two or three years at least and again it's not so much the amount there was a fair bit but what you might it was the wind and the wind dumped it in all these little places and drifted and made it deep. You can see how... This is in there. 
to the left. Oh, and they're starting to drag in. Now, there's some jobs to be done to this, obviously. The old girl runs as sweet as a nut. And, um, brakes. Brakes are kind of non existent. You have to stand on them. So they'll want to do and probably replace them. I think the time for adjustment is gone. So we'll do that. Um, also, the gear lever. The gear lever, the spring and all that, which locates it in the towards the centre, has broken, I think. So that'll want to replace it because otherwise it can just sort of flop into gear. And that's never a good thing. But to be honest, the old girl, the old girl's looking well. Looking well. Oh yeah, all the snow. <laughs> oh, that's good fun. But yeah, it's um the nice bit of kit I actually to come out with, never play with, if I'm honest. So I think moving forward, the jobs we want to do, do those brakes. Do that gear selector spring and then just give her an oil change and filter, you know, and do all the fuel fillers, oil fillers that we've got them in stock. We might as well do on, but uh, it really is nice today. I've enjoyed it. Oh, girl runs as sweet as a nut. So, channel news, <laughs> right, now, people have been asking me now for a long time about will I do some merchandise, will I do this, you know, some t-shirts, will I do some hats, will I do some stickers and stuff like that. Now, it's something that's never really appealed to me. Now, a while back I did do some stickers um, and that was to raise some money for uh, a charity that I support, that a lot of you will know, which is Protecting pre love Border Collies. And they basically take in collie dogs that have either come to the end of their work and life um, and are now neglected or unwanted, or maybe the owner has passed away, or people just don't want them anymore and dump them. And they give them somewhere safe to be, assess them, and then the whole plan is to get them in back to a new home, you know, so they can live the life in, you know, somewhere that's safe and comfortable and that they're, they're, they're loved again. So, yeah, the stickers went well, and we say we raised a bit of money for them, uh, which is great. And people keep asking me again, you know, are you going to do some Lord Muck stuff? Because I never knew the channel was going to grow like this. It's just madness. So I thought, well, do you know what? Maybe I should. If you not want, you know, the some merchandise in a shop, I could then hopefully then, with that, make some more money for the uh, the collie dogs. So here's what we did. I started looking into samples of t-shirts and stuff. Because if you look online, there's tons of companies that will turn around and say, just give us your logo, we'll put it on everything. Hoodies, t-shirts, caps, bags, pens, cups, mugs, fridge magnets, you know what? I didn't want that. If I was gonna sell something, I wanted to know it's gonna be good quality. Um, I don't want it just emblazoned everywhere. Uh, so I started looking at the t-shirts and found the major, two major uh, manufacturers of, of t-shirts seem to have the best quality and best feel um but at the top end of their range not the lower stuff the cheap stuff the you know the more sort of premium end now come on let me feel the fiber of your fabric so all right found t-shirts good but then we had to get the logo done so logo or drew it all up but they had to have it then uh transferred to a um a screen print transfer itself that you could put on the t-shirts again there's cheap ways you can do it and just Sort of put them on but after you know 
couple of washers, they start splitting and cracking. I don't want that. I want a t-shirt. If you buy a t-shirt, you can wear it for a long time. Obviously you can't just run over it and set fire to it and think it's gonna be all right. But if you turn it inside out when you wash it, uh, you know, at a good temperature and whatever, it's gonna last you a long while. You're gonna get value out of it. And that's what I want. So I didn't want anything cracking up. So found this process with these transfers and it basically pushes them right into the cotton, into the material. Uh, and I thought, well, that's good. So there we are, t-shirts, sorted, lovely. Fine. You remember these, so we got these stickers done. I showed you them last time. The old Fud Weasel and the Lord Muck, you know, channel logo. Then there were mugs. Again, I want decent mugs with decent colors uh, that, you know, sharp image, something a bit different, nice color inside. And the old Lord Muck channel banner on the other side. Again, something quality. But I didn't want, just like I said with the t-shirts, I didn't want it just to be like a lot of them that just, you know, it's all about me and the channel. Wear my stuff on, you know, I want you to, you know, show off my channel. That's not what it's about, muckers. This is stuff that you and I have been involved in. You, the muckers, and me, we've done this. Not just me, we've done this. As an example, this t-shirt, right, so, nice cotton t-shirt. Nice subtle Lord Muck logo there, channel logo. And on the back, the old Fud Weasel. He plays a big part in the channel, him and his Perkins and Massey stuff. Here's the old Fud Weasel, right? So that's on the back. But as I said, nice T-shirt. Then, again, this time in green, we've got Lord Muck logo on the front. And on the back, will it start? And there is the old Hedgerow John Deere and the 3650. All right? Hey muggers, this is not about me. When I did that, that will it start, if you remember, I asked, do you want to see the JCB or do you want to see the hedgerow find? You chose the hedgerow find, you're a part of it. And that's what I want it to be about. It's not about the channel and me being, you know, this is about stuff that we've done. Muckers and me, this is what it's all about. So that's what I want to reflect on the products. So as I said, just for a minute, we keep it nice and simple on this. And I've got an online shop now, so that's all been set up. Now, um, to go to that, very simple, Lord Muck Shop, or one word, lordmuckshop.com, simple as that, all right? And then you can see what's on there and, you know, and I've tried to keep the prices in line with, you know, most other channels and whatever the merchandise is and whatever. It's a free country, isn't it? Well, it ain't a free shop, is it? So fuck off. But as I said, it's stuff that I'm doing. I'm not just sending it off, you know, third party. But um, yeah, it's taken a long time. And with the restrictions that we're work working and living under at the moment, it's the same for everybody. My plan is to get everything out within two weeks. So if you order something, get it out within two weeks. Uh, but again, that's if we can get supplies. It's looking all right at the moment. But that's the plan. Right, muckers, so once you've gone on to the lordmuckshop.com site, this is what you'll see. That's the page there. That just gets you onto it. Then up the top left here, you've got the uh, navigational toolbar bit. Then you've got the merch. So that's all on there, what we've got for the moment. Now, muckers, one thing I just want to point out to you is the way the site is set up, you can't price individual items for an individual shipping rate. So uh, we've basically got either an international, so like North America, Australia and Europe, or we've got the UK and Ireland, which is slightly less, obviously. And that's just how we've had to do it. Because of that, what I've had to do, I've done the stickers, they're actually below cost, what they cost us. Uh, because if you bought just one sticker, uh, for the UK, it's like five pound postage. Well, you know, I don't want to keep try to ramp everybody like that, it's no good at all. So I've done them, at, like I said, like that. So most people will buy two, well that works out then at eight quid, well that ain't quite so bad, but there's nothing we can do about that. And I think most people will buy them with something else. Now, once you go on to the secure checkout, when you've got your basket, whatever you want in it, um, it automatically defaults to the international shipping rate, okay? So North America, Australia, New Zealand, Europe, the rest of the world basically. Um, and again, even at that, for a t-shirt, I'll tell you now, a t-shirt to America is £10.50 shipping. So, you know, but yeah, I don't care, as I said, it's not about making money, it's about, as I said, just covering a cost and whatever, we're trying to, but 
Anyway, regardless. Now, for you in the UK and Ireland, as soon as you put your address in and you select either UK or Ireland, the rate drops, all right? We we're able to do that. That's the setting rate. And again, that covers a T-shirt. But that's what we can do. We can't set a rate for like just for postage for stickers or mugs. That's it. We have to stick with that. So UK and Ireland is that rate. The rest of the world is that. And I just try to be as fair as we can with that. All right, muggers. But I just want to be, you know, it's what you all to know when you're going through that it will drop if you're in the UK or Ireland on the shipping. Now, here's the other thing, muggers. Because you've all been so instrumental in all this and wanting all this sort of stuff, I thought, well, here's what we'll do. So, and this is to do with the shop. This is not a YouTube thing, because they just get all their knickers under twist or everything, but this is for my shop. So, whoever buys a t-shirt, right? And I'm gonna say, let's say, once we get to 200. Now that might take two, three months, it might take six months, but once we sell 200 t-shirts, right? Like that. What I'm gonna do, is I'm going to put all the names of people that have bought t-shirts. And if they've bought two, their name will go in twice or three times, you know. But whoever buys a t-shirt, your name, and I'll just be your names, like obviously under the data protection, we can't keep addresses. So we're just going to put the names in, like we do with the other, you know, giveaways and stuff. In one of those random generators. We'll do it all on here, though. We'll do it on this channel. Once we get to that point of 200 sold, I'll say, to, I'll put it on the channel, say, right, we've sold 200 now. You've got two more weeks, and then if anybody else wants to get involved, they can, so it gives them just a bit of a break to get involved. And if they want to buy one, great, then their name will win. But there'll be a cut-off date. As of that cut-off date, that's it. But anyone in that time that has bought a T-shirt, your name will go into the, you know, say the old random generator, and we'll press for a winner, and that person will win. Ah, oh, look model the Fordson Power Major. How nice is that? Look at the detail on that. It says 116th Universal Hobbies. The linkage and everything, look. That is superb. Although saying that, do you know what? I think we can do better than that. Right, muckers. Well, just back from our snow-filled adventure. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give this away. That's right, Ford's a major. One of you out there is gonna end up owning this. Now all you gotta do, as you said before, same rules apply, but it's not gonna be for the model. Anyone that buys a t-shirt from lordmuckshop.com, your name will go into the drawer. See, so there we are, muckers. No, and I'm serious. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give away the major. Now, like I say, it'll be as is. You know, there's no new warranty or guarantee with it. But we're going to do some work on that anyway, like we said. Uh, in the meantime, uh, servers it, sort of breaks out, stuff like that. But as I said, it is as seen. As, once you got it, it's up to you. You've got to come and make arrangements to come and collect it or whatever, get it transported. That's down to you. Anyone overseas, though, you're still in with that because if you you know think well obviously the shipment <laughs> shipment's going to be phenomenal to uh, North America, we can do a cash alternative. All right, we'll say we'll announce that nearer the time. So there'll be a choice. You can either have the tractor or the cash alternative. That's what we're going to do. All right, but we'll put the details up nearer the time. But there we are, Marcus. That is what's what we're going to do. So the shop is LordMuckShop.com. Go on there, see if you can want to get some stuff, whatever you want to do. Uh, and like I said, anyone that buys a t-shirt, your name will go in. And their name, I told them, yeah, they're, I know, their names are going to go in. Yeah, thank you, right. Their names are going to go in. I've said that, yes. There we go. Anything else you want to add? Is there any? I know, very good. Right, go on, lay down. So, we're going to do that, muggers, and... Um, yeah, so your names will go in and someone is going to end up with the major. Simple as that. All right. Now, Marcus, so with all that, on to this week's question. And with what we've just been talking about, here's what it is, right? Now, I told you, I'm not one in this interval, you know, oh, Lord Muck fridge maglet, Lord Muck in phone case or whatever. None of that old squit, right? 
If I'm going to add anything else to the infantry on the Lord Muck shop, right, what should it be? That wants to be something practical, doesn't it? So, as an example, polo shirts or a hoodie, maybe, yeah, because you can wear them, yeah, you can wear them at work, fair enough. Maybe a, you know, a woolen sort of cap to so keep your head warm, fair enough. Pens, fridge magnets, I can't see the point. I can't see the point. I've got enough pens, haven't we? What are you going to do with a fridge magnet? Put, put on your fridge. But do you know what I mean? Um, so something that's useful, Muckers, to you, that, you know, every day, I want it to not just have Lord Muck on it and, you know, oh, okay, yeah, that's great that you support the channel and obviously then supporting the dogs and stuff, but at least get some use out of it, all right? So, Muckers, in the old script pick below, right in the comment section, what do you think would be something good to have as an item on the Lord Muck shop? What do you think? Put your answers in the old script pick below. So there we are, muckers. Got through a lot this week, but there's a lot to get through. Um, but like I said, um, I do want to just say thank you to all of you again for your continued support, because it does mean a lot. You know, it's why I enjoy it. Um, but we've got loads of stuff coming up, because I've been filming loads of stuff. So anyway, that's all good. So there we are. Um, oh, you've got to say goodbye, have you? Come on, here. Right? You want to say goodbye there, look? There. There, look. Thank you. No, no, enough of your speaking parts. So, muckers, there we are. Until the next one, do well.